pastor of Hope Christian Center, Vernon Carr. Well, welcome to a very, very special program this morning. We're going to give a tribute to a uh, very good friend, Henry Sharp. Now, Henry um, went to sleep in the arms of the Lord a few days ago. And though we're going to miss him down here from playing the drums and singing for us, I know that uh, heaven is richer because of Henry making that journey from here to the other side. And uh, you that met Henry, you know that he's a very unique person. You that never met Henry, well, you miss something in your life. And so today we're just going to we're going to let Henry just uh, sing for us throughout this entire program, and um, just let Henry do it. We'll tell you a little bit about Henry from time to time. In uh, case if you didn't know him, we'll try to make it so that when this program is over with, you will say, "I think I knew a little bit about Henry Sharp." You see, Henry was in on this from the very beginning. He uh, was at, right at the very beginning. Glory Jamboree. Henry played the drums. As a matter of fact, that from just about the very beginning of this church, uh, Hope Christian Center, Henry was involved in the music part of it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you more about him, Henry, but right now, let's le let him sing one call in the sweet by and by. Here's Henry. There's a land that is fairer than me, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore getting into country music and Henry and a fellow by the name of Oscar Whittington was playing down at the Chateau Basque at that time several many years ago and uh, so I was trying to get it started in country music and so I went down got acquainted with Henry and they allowed me to get up and sing and Henry uh, took a liking to me and I liked Henry so Henry began to uh, get me acquainted with all the musicians around here in Bakersfield he turned out to be a great 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 friend and uh, Henry was this kind of a person. If he liked you, he liked you. If he didn't like you, he didn't like you. And uh, if he liked you, there wasn't anything Henry wouldn't do. But if he, if he didn't like you, hey, the, he, he didn't have any use for you. I mean, there was no gray area with, with Henry Sharp. As a matter of fact, when he invited you over to dinner, lunch, dinner, oaky dinner, you might say, he had uh, cornbread and beans and ham hocks and and that's about it. Sometimes we had fish. But he'd invite you over and he said, now, we're going to have dinner at 6 o'clock. That meant 6 o'clock. That didn't mean 5 till or 5 after. It meant 6 o'clock. And if you arrived late, hey, Henry's already sitting down eating. I mean, if you said something, Henry, he said, hey, I told you 6 o'clock. That's just kind of the kind of a person that Henry really was. Well, I want to tell you more about Henry and tell you some good stories uh, happened in, the, in our relationship. But right now, here comes Henry to sing for us again. There's a family bond 
the table This page is torn and hard to read But that family Bible on the table Will ever be my key to memory I can see sitting round the table as from the family Bible Dad would read and I can hear my mother softly sing Rock of Ages Rock of Ages Christ I got out of country music and um, the Lord turned my life around and put me back into uh, preaching and building for the kingdom of God. We started a church and I needed a, some music. So I went to Henry and I said, now, Henry, I need some music. Now, you, you don't play on Sunday morning, so get some guys together and come over and give me a hand. So Henry got some folks together and came over and started making the music on Sunday mornings. And uh, that's kind of how Glory Jamboree Band got together. And in essence, we've changed a few here and there, but not too many. And uh, so that's the way it was. And then later down through uh, time, you know, the gospel in the song or preaching or just letting people see the gospel work in you does its work on people. So after a period of time, Henry, hearing all the gospel songs and so forth, Henry began to change a little bit he probably didn't even know that but he began to change and I knew that Henry had accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and made a commitment on his arm when uh, this little situation I'm about to explain to you took place you see uh, if you do something wrong Henry thought you did something wrong then he didn't want he didn't want anything to do with you well a fellow uh, Henry thought did him wrong and uh, if this this fellow came in and would get on the bandstand, Henry would walk off. He'd just pass right by and never even shake hands, though the, though the fellow may have had his hand out. Because he just said, that guy did me wrong and I don't want anything to do with him. One day, Henry and I was out in the alley working on a trailer that he had. And he, he always called me Rev. He said, hey, Rev, is it really true that if I don't forgive uh, somebody that God can't forgive me? And I said, Henry, that's what the book has to say, that you tie God's hands. If you don't forgive, then God can't forgive you. And so uh, the next time that Henry met this individual, he went up to him, stuck out his hand, and said, the Rev says, I can't make it to heaven unless I forgive you. So you're forgiven. And he shook his hand. And I knew from that moment on, when I heard that story, that God had worked in Henry, and Henry had made a change. And Henry did change from that time on. And um, so he, he, just, he, he was still Henry, of course, but he began to make his, his right, his self right with the Lord from that moment on. And um, well, I'll tell you some more about Henry in just a minute. Right now, he's going to come back and sing for us. Just to close. 
fish and um, I guess uh, probably the people that went fishing that I know of in the last few years was probably Fuzzy Owens and myself and um, we were up on Lake Isabella Henry and I and we'd gone out fishing and we tooled around there and, and we finally found a fishing hole that we thought was good and we fished there caught a few and and then we left and we thought for sure that we could find that place anytime we wanted to so uh, about a week or so, we went back up there and, and uh, got out of the boat, started trying to find that, that fishing hole, boy, where we knew we was going to catch some fish. Well, we went all over that lake in that area, never could find that uh, favorite spot. And the wind started blowing, we started tooling around there, and finally we, we, we went places we probably shouldn't have gone. We got in some shallow water and it hit a sand bar, and the wind was blowing so hard that the, the motor wouldn't run to pull us off of there, so we had to get some oars and begin to push. And so we pulled the motor out of the water, and we and we began to take those oars and push as hard as we could, and we'd get out a little ways, and we'd think now we could get the motor going and take off, and by the time we get the motor down, the wind would have blown us back into where we were. So we, we worked hard to get out of there. We finally made it. And so we started back to, go, to come home, and, and we had crossed the fence. So we tried to get back over the fence, and the motor caught on the, on the barbed wire fence. So we, we backed the thing up, got out of there, and we didn't know how we was going to uh, get out of there. But we finally found a spot, tried it again, and got across the fence, and, uh, and uh, the waves was kicking pretty hard, and so we just uh, put the old boat in, in the way it ought to go, and here we came on in home. So I've had some great fishing time with, with Henry. I haven't caught very, much, very many fish, but I've had some great times. And I, I'm the kind of person that puts something on the hook, throws it out there, and prays that something gets on there. But Henry liked the bass fish, and I never had did any of that. So Henry was teaching me how to bass fish. And he, he wanted me to catch a fish so bad that uh, he said, now, Rev, he said, the next time I catch one, I won't, I'm going to give this pole to you and let you pull it in. I said, no, Henry, we can't, we can't do that. If I can't catch it, catch it fair, then I just don't want to pull it in. So uh, uh, we had some great times. Well... Here's some great second. Here's Henry again. Is as bad 
climb trees and trim them. And I remember Henry telling me, he said, you know, Rev, he said, there's been a lot of times when I've been up that tree and trying to get this big limb and, and so I was holding up, trying to push it and do things. And he said, it looked like it's going to pull me right off of that ladder or it's going to fall on a house or a, or a fence or something. And he'd say, I just say, Lord, I need some help. And he said, I mean, just like that, it seemed like the strength coming. I just was able to push that thing right up or it fell the other direction. So you see, Henry knew about the power of God, and he knew everything was right between him and the Lord. And uh, once in a while, Henry would let me sing with him. He, he liked, he, I like to sing with him, but he, I think he likes to sing with me. So here's one that we're going to do together. So uh, here's myself and Henry. I'm the friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay And he tells me every care on him to roll He's the lily of the valley the bright and morning star He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul And all my 
sorrow from head to temptation. He's my strong and mighty power. I have all for him forsaken, and all my idols torn from my heart. And now he keeps me by his power. In sorrow, he's my comfort. In trouble, he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. Oh, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Yes, he's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul.
Thanks for being a friend. I know that you're in a better place, and uh, you probably don't miss us, but we miss you. And heaven's brighter because you're there in that uh, special place God planned for you and for us. And our hearts are rejoicing with you today because we know where you are. But, you know, the book says that won't be long until we shall be with you in that uh, glorious place of called paradise, being with the Lord. So you've paved the way. You showed, you, sh you showed me, Henry, has been my friend, how to live, and you also showed me how to die. And I thank you for that. And all the people that knew you, Henry, say the same thing that I'm saying right now. Thanks, Henry for being my friend. 